This is a craftsman style home. Right off the bat here, you notice we have a hardscape going up to the front porch. You notice the steps in the surface of the front porch also is a hardscape. This is done in a few different ways, but it's very expensive. This, base, this video I'm doing basically to show people that ask me constantly how much a foot are homes. It can literally make you nuts because there's no such thing. This is probably a 2,200 square foot house. And you compare this house to a Pulte cookie cutter, a Toe Brothers cookie cutter stamp house that they reproduce in production, it's a nine day difference. <clears throat> we have columns. This could be brick or stone down here, wood shakes, metal roof, lots of windows. I mean, the front elevation, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten windows and an entrance. Just on the front elevation, which is a small elevation. Considering it's not even a two-story elevation, just have this bump out little dormer here. But it's a constant question: how much are we a foot? For for instance, this house here, you notice we have the posts, the beams, wood shakes, hard surface. If we come around the side here, I'll stop running it past this branch. Ouch! We have the upper windows here. We have a table here. Notice the simple foundation we have here. Uh, this easily could be stone brick in the application. This here is just drawn plain right now just for the process of getting this video out sooner than later. Large overhangs, large bird mouse returns, all kinds of goodies. We'll walk through around here. Now walk, this is the right side of the house. Here's the front over here. Now you notice we have the hardscape again set of steps. Just the system along with the foundations required to put this and to build it in Michigan is tough because of the frost. So here's the beams again. Lots of windows, lots of casing. The facade here looks plain. We didn't put anything in there. Could be hardy plank, vinyl to make it cheaper, brick, stucco. It's endless what we can put in there. Now this is the rear elevation. Again, we have another porch, small porch, but it's enclosed. Wide staircase, columns again. Gable, more beams and posts. Now we're going to swing in the front door and make a right into the master. We have the ceilings, our nine foot. We swing through this door. You notice the header systems. This isn't your standard two and a quarter inch OSB or OG casing that you use on a lot of track homes. This is all custom. A three piece crown, five and a quarter, French doors, wide casings. Wide headers above. Come through the, the kitchen here. We swing to the left. I'm sorry, we swing straight ahead actually. And you'll see, let me move this around a little bit. A great room concept. Just along this great room, just a built in mantle all the way across, built ins underneath with glass doors. Fireplaces were used in a lot of prefab fireplaces. They're high efficient, they run off your gas, they heat extremely well. No dirt dropping through here with bark and you know, whatever. I realize the smell of the fire is gone, but you can buy a little incense burner and set it right here and burn the firewood smell and pull it off quite easily. Uh, the nice windows up here, the high windows, all this stuff adds up to money. Again, we have the header systems, framed archways here instead of drywall. Swing into the kitchen here, let's stop it right here. We have, again, the nice window system, an apron sink, stacked dishwashers, these are coved bronze handles, large appliances, large cabinets around everything. Cabinets in the back of the island. There's just a lot of money in a small space. Hardwood floors, you notice down here. To the right, we have the butler's pantry. We're going to swing by that really quick, though. We'll get it on the way back out. Here, are staircase going downstairs. Seven and a half inch base. Tall doors, solid panel doors. In this case, this is painted, so we use MDF and we use a solid panel uh, door system where these panels are not going to crack or shift or move, which is the key. This is the back door I was just showing you a minute ago. There's the stamped concrete. There's a little four season porch back here. Don't get seasick for swinging. Kind of cracked there. Whoa, that was a little nook, a uh, built in nook for seating. Here we're coming back out to the kitchen. We have the uppers glass. We put lights up on top of these glass shelves. 
Very expensive, very nice. This green tile we just kind of threw in there. We should probably put something different. It doesn't look that great, actually. I'm sure I'm going to hear about that one. But we have all these handles, which I love. They're half shell handles, really nice. Looking back through the kitchen, swinging out. There's the front room. Whoa, don't get dizzy here. It's like a roller coaster. What is this X here? Let's get rid of that. Oh, well, it looks like I can't get rid of it. Maybe I can move it. Nope, can't move it. At any rate, here's our windows again. We have glass doors. A lot of glass in this house. If you take the amount of glass in this house versus a house twice the size, we probably have more than they have because there's a load of glass. Not A lot of built-ins, too. Notice this built-in across here? A lot of built-ins. Turn columns that are handmade. I mean, not turn. Handmade columns, all custom. Swinging around to the foyer again. Nice tall base. I put it up before, but I'll do it again. We're going to swing around to the foyer here, make a hard right. There's the uh, a front den. We didn't go through there because it's too tight of a turn for me to do this with this software I'm using. And back out to the front door. Now, but we'll stop right here. We get through this door. And here's your... All this is handmade. Handmade takes a lot of maintenance. This is covered, so it's not going to be that bad for maintenance. But the stuff out here that's exposed, I have it in a few houses I've built in the last five or six years. This has got to be touched up with paint. Unless we use the composite wood. So there's ways of getting around that, too. Uh, the nice wide window cases on the outside. Back up a little bit. It's kind of too much. And that's it. So we're back to the front, I see. So this is basically, I'm showing this video to show people what it takes to build a house of quality versus a standard square house, vinyl windows, straight up and down, a garage attached to the side. The garage in this format is in the back, not even attached. But uh, a lot of cost goes into a lot of these little nooks and crannies. And to educate the public to think they can, they can get a house for $100 a foot, they can. They just can't get this for $100 a foot. It costs me more than that to build it. And then you have property. So we're BRD Construction. My name is Tony. I'm the builder, designer. My number is 231-838-1884. My personal email to get me directly is Tony. Biardi at gmail.com. T O N Y B A I A R D I at gmail.com. My company is Biardi Construction, B A I A R D I Construction.com. We've been around since 1976. I hope this helps you out.